everyone. In this video, we will explain how to wire and configure your Huangyan VFD and Spindle to run from Mach 3 and other CNC software. When you buy a Spindle and VFD set, it comes pre-configured to run manually, you only need to wire the Spindle to the VFD and the VFD to specific voltage. By pressing run, the Spindle will start running clockwise. Set speed on knob and adjust the speed as desired. To run spindle counterclockwise, just press reverse, and stop to stop. Now let's configure the VFD to be commanded by terminals. First, switch jumper showed here from VR to VT. Then set PD001 to 1. By pressing program, then toggle up or down to PD001. Press set. Toggle to 1 and press set again. Now we configure speed, to be commanded by terminals as well, by following previous steps, and setting PD002, to 1. If you bought spindle and VFD as a set, the VFD should have come pre-configured as per spindle specifications. You can verify the settings by pressing set, from PD003, to PD005. To run spindle clockwise, we jump terminals DCM and FOR. And for spindle speed, we will jump DC negative to ACM and 0 to 10 voltage, to VI terminal. The VFD uses analog 0 to 10 voltage. We'll use a 3 volt battery to emulate a potentiometer. We'll do the same with a 9 volt battery that should bring the VFD to almost 400 hertz. To run spindle counterclockwise, we jump DCM and our EV terminals. Now let's use the 3 volt battery to test running counterclockwise. Okay. 
感じって。Having tested by jumping the wires, now let's connect them to a breakup board. We connect FOR and our EV to normally open of each relay, and ECM, to voltage in. So, one relay, runs clockwise, and the second relay runs counterclockwise. For spindle speed, we must connect 0 to 10 voltage to the analog output of the breaker board. For this C11G breakout board, we must connect a 12 volt power supply to analog terminals and VI of the VFD to the 10 volt terminal and ACM to ground to make ground for power supply and VFD common. To run the spindle from Mach 3, we must set the spindle speed and click spindle start. Since we have Mach 3 configured to 24,000 RPM maximum speed, as per spindle specs, the spindle should run at 50% when set to 12,000. Now we set the speed to 24,000 RPMs. We can see the spindle is not running at 100%, therefore we need to adjust the potentiometer to calibrate the spindle speed. We set the speed to 12,000 RPMs and adjust the knob until we get 200 Hz. We then set it to 24,000 RPM and should read 400 Hz with VFD at 100%. Now let's use manual input to run the spindle. M3 will run clockwise. M4 will run counterclockwise. And M5 will stop. Some of the following steps to configure Mach 3 are specific for the C11G board. You will have to check pinout on your breakout board according to the manual. First, 
make sure the max speed is set as specifications, 24,000 RPM in this case. Set spindle and motor output to pin 14 of port 1. Now set, output 1 to pin 14 of port 1 and output 2 to pin 16 of port 1. On spindle setup tab, make sure to configure, M3 to output 1, and M4 to output 2. Make sure spindle relays are not disabled, and spindle motor output is enabled and is set to PWM control. To power this VFD, we need to connect, live, live, neutral, for 220 voltage, as per this VFD specifications. You must connect the spindle ground to VFD ground. If you're not sure which one is the ground wire, you can verify continuity with the collet of the VFD. Terminals usually labeled U, V, and W could be connected in any order. If the spindle is running in the wrong direction we just swap any two wires, and that should fix it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.